I am at Port Canaveral. It is Saturday. I am getting ready to board the Carnival Mardi Gras cruise ship. I have wanted to go on the ship for so long and I've gotten so many requests for you guys to go on the ship. So I'm super, super excited. I haven't been on a carnival this big. I haven't been to this actual terminal here at Port Canaveral. This is the drop off area when you come in to drop off. Actually, let me just show you guys. Like if you're being dropped off, you go over there or if you want to drop off your luggage and stuff, you go over there and drop them off at the porters. I had one suitcase which I left over there. I have my one carry on. It's 10.52, my check-in is at 11.30 to 12. Cruising buddy Chris is on his way to meet me here at port. For this fun one week long cruise to Mexico and Honduras. This is neat, they have mobility equipment that you can get here, rent here. And then these are the lines. So with Carnival, you get a check-in time when you go to register. I would highly recommend that as soon as you can register for that check-in time, do it to try to grab the time you want. We did it first thing and we got 11.30 to 12. 12 to 12.30, 12.31, 1 to 1.30, and 1.30 to 2. He said if you have your boarding pass ready, that you can go ahead and get in the line that you're supposed to get into. So this is me. This is exciting. Okay, so I have my boarding pass on my from my app on my phone, but he said they need to print it. And if I go to here, they will print it for me. So I'm gonna go back out here and have them print it for me. There's my boarding pass. They just print it right out right there. I'm walking this way. I don't know where I'm going. I feel like this is the big one like I went to in Port Canaveral went on Oasis of the Seas. I don't know if this, I don't think this is the same terminal though. I don't know. Is it? It's really weird that I'm here and I can't see the ship. I can't see the ship. I just want to see it so bad. That's like doing two gangways. <laughs> A gangway to get from the parking lot to up here to the terminal. Look, welcome to Mardi Gras. It's 11.50. Uh, Chris, I think he's here. He was a few minutes away last I heard from him. I don't know what the lines are like outside. Of course, I will update you, but you know when I got here. I don't remember what time it was anymore. <laughs> but I'm just sitting in here. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update. This is a really nice terminal. Very, very, very nice. Nice comfy places to sit. There's soda machines, water. I got water. Snacks, stuff like that. When I got here, I came straight in. Like there was no waits. And you don't check in at the desk here like you check in on some cruise lines. You get this little stamp on your boarding pass. That's all you need is your boarding pass. That's why they said I had to print mine out. You get the stamp on it. A stamp and a check mark. You have to have ID on the ship. When I got here, they were on B4 is the group. It's been, I guess, probably an hour and they go through all the numbers super fast. So you know how when you make an appointment and it says 11, 30, 12, 12, 12, 30, you do go on those lines outside coordinating with your arrival time. But when you get up here, you can just get on the ship normally, but you can't because on your boarding ticket, you do have your boarding zone, mine's D8. So they were like, no, you have to wait. But that only didn't even take 20 minutes. And then after that, it just was like, boom, 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 boom. And then by this time right now, actually probably for the last 20 minutes, they've called every single zone. So now it's just a complete walk on. It's been steady. Now it's slowing up. But that's the update right now. And I will see you guys on the ship. Words not needed. <laughs> this feeling, if you know it, you know it. If not, hopefully you'll know it and you'll love it. I saw that this ship holds 6,500 passengers and 2,000 crew. You know how many people that is? Look at the pretty balcony cabins. They're like the, uh, what are those cabins on Disney that have the little verandas? Navigator verandas. Okay, the fun part. <laughs> Yay. Oh my God, it's so different from any carnival I've ever seen in my entire life. <gasps> oh my God, I think I can actually, whoa. It's huge. It's so different. I'm gonna have the time of my life this next week. Oh, by the way, we're hi. gonna have it. <laughs> you haven't seen me yet. We're on the ship. We're on this ship. We're about to have a most amazing week long adventure. How's it out? Costa Maya. Oh, we keep running into each other. Mahogany Bay. I haven't been on a ship like this in so long. There's gonna be so much videos. There's something that you should know about me. I love Mardi Gras. I love like actual Mardi Gras. I love Mardi Gras. I got this tattoo, Mardi Gras from New Orleans. So I'm so excited to go in here. I can't even tell you. What deck are we on? We are on deck five. We walk in here, look up. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait a minute. What is this? Casino with windows? It's gorgeous. Look how high the ceiling is. Look at the cages and the chandelier. Look at the bar. And look at the Cheers beverage program. Look at the art on the walls. Like you really feel like you're in New Orleans. The Brass Magnolia, that's what that bar is called? Yep. 
Look at the lounge. Oh my God, we're gonna have so much fun. So much to do on the ship and it's so beautiful. And there's so much to do and I'm so excited. My favorite place. Look at the lights. The trumpets, yeah. This is your favorite place, where? Oh. May your fortunes be told. Oh my, it's a fortune teller bar. Flamingo restaurant, is that the main That's dining the main room? Dining. Wow, oh, I so love it. The wall art continues. Look at the colors, look at everything. Oh, it's so pretty. Beads, masks. Whoa, I can't, I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless and giddy with excitement. And once again, I'm about to cry. I'm literally I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna try not to cry. Look at this. You know, I'm so excited because it's beautiful and awesome and I love ships, but also there's nothing like knowing all the adventure that you have in the next seven days to see in a place like this. And plus, I have not seen anything like this before. Oh my god. So I'm actually awestruck. Wow. We're not even turning this camera off, man. This is just like... Emerald's Bistro is coming out. Oh my gosh. This is like a, a ship tour already. Oh my gosh. Beignets, five dollars. So this is a la carte. I saw strawberries Romanoff, $4. So that was a French Quarter, and I did actually see a couple things that they have six themed zones because there's so many people on the ship, they gotta spread it out. Apparently it can hold 6,500 guests and like around 2,000 crew. What is this? The Carnival Kitchen. Carnival Kitchen, hi. <laughs> We're gonna do ship tours, don't worry, so many. Okay, so we walked up a deck, but apparently, I think that was deck six we were on. Yeah, not deck five. Not deck sorry. five, but like I said, ship tours come and all that kind of stuff. Make sure to watch these vlogs in order. That is gorgeous. They even have glass steps. Look, you know it's a boarding day. We're on the second floor, right there's Emeralds. We were just down there. Notice that we're about to go into the alchemy bar, bar area, and the carpet is symbols, like chemistry. Alchemy. This place is huge, it keeps going, it's so wide. And look, we have the places to sit here, drink, people watch. Do you guys people watch on the pool deck? Where? Tell me, I know you probably do, tell me where. There it is, the alchemy bar. The martini tasting, select four mini martinis, $24.95. Ooh, it's a dollar off. The narrow elevator door. Nice, uh, clear button so you know where you're going, that's nice. Oh, it's not like the horizon where you <laughs> had to actually tap outside. What? Yeah. Jack five. What? <laughs> yeah, all the elevator buttons. Are, there was no elevator buttons inside. Okay. <laughs> Still on the elevator. Stuffs can get hectic on boarding day, but no one's here now, so I can show you this. We were so packed, I was just like chilling like this against the wall. Deck 16. Oh, people, look, it tells you what direction the thing is going. Here's the map. I am on 16 right now. Lots of fun stuff. Oh my god, I want to go to Street Eats. But right now, I'm going to go to Big Chicken. Come on, we're gonna go this way just to see the Lido because it's extra fun. It's boarding day, okay? And I didn't get to take my obligatory photo outside the ship. And look, cheers, okay? I got some news. Whoa! Oh my god. What is that? This is the most amazing double full deck I've ever seen. So we're gonna walk through the Lido to get to the chicken place. This Lido also reminds me of Princess. Wow, totally reminds me of Princess's Lido. Oh my gosh, even with the side place there, I really feel like I'm there. I love the colors, it's so beachy. Clean and fresh and aesthetically pleasing. And I'm so hungry and it smells so good. And it's very busy right now because everybody's waiting for their rooms. And when you're on the ship and you're waiting for your rooms, which are ready at 1.30 by the way, people have nowhere to go. And also they're eating and drinking. Looks like I'm getting to the back of the ship. I hope the chicken guy is out here. That's a nice hand washing station, bathrooms, and tights pool. Oh, there's a button. Remember that when you start drinking. There's a button to open some of the doors. I'm pretty sure we've all been guilty of that. All right, there's the aft pool and the tights bar is right here. Still looking for chicken. I looked at the map and I'm, whoa. Never mind, it's here. Here it is, here it is. What they have here are chicken sandwiches and you can get grilled chicken available upon request. You can get dark or white meat, which is really cool for a chicken sandwich. There's some pre-made ones you can choose from. There's chicken strips. They have breakfast here, actually. Wow, that sounds good. A chicken biscuit with chili honey glazed syrup. It says the chicken is preservative free, humanely raised, no hormones or antibiotics. I think I might get the big Aristotle. That's what I'm getting. <gasps> what? <laughs> it looks so good with white meat. And I want to try one of those because this looks so good. 
By the way, this is included. I'm gonna say that it's free. What it means is you pay for the cruise and then you can eat this food for free when you're on it. This is free, you don't have to pay more for it right now. Okay, I'm not like a fried chicken fan, but I think I'm gonna be a fried chicken fan of this. Look at this, and I got a tender. And then look at this, potato salad, what'd you get? That's what you, oh. Potato salad, house-made sweet and spicy pickles, and jalapeno slaw. Look at this view, you guys. The tables are cleaned out because the rooms are ready. It's 1.30. And the spicy sweet pickle is good. This chicken is so fresh and tender and delicious. I haven't tried the sandwich yet. I'm about to try this. I'm about to try the potato salad. Oh my God, the potato salad is actually amazing. And these fries are absolutely delicious. They literally melt in my mouth and they're not super greasy. All pluses for me. My review is this is 100% amazing and delicious and wonderful. Can I take back what I said about all I can chicken? Let me say, I, I do like chicken. I don't eat it that much, but this is so good, I'm gonna be eating it all the time. And if you guys like chicken, you're gonna be so happy on this ship because you can have all the yummy, yummiest chicken you can eat. I don't even know when they're open though. I'll tell you that later. Chris didn't have breakfast here last time. So no, we, we're gonna go to breakfast and get And it's a late breakfast too. They stay open for breakfast until three and guess what? He's like, I didn't even make it before breakfast and it doesn't even stop until three. Wait, does that mean they had breakfast today? No. Oh. No breakfast today. It was only... <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying to say, after this, you and me should go down to the deck to get our cards and go do the muster station. <laughs> okay, so the reason I turned this on is because I couldn't turn on fast enough to see what Chris was doing, but he just explained what he was doing, and now I would like you to do it without the words. Because I was just eating and looking at him, he started doing this. With his mouthful. Chewing, I mean. Yeah. yeah, but there's more. What was this thing? That thing, the huggy thing. Life jacket. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> so we're finished eating our chicken sandwich. It was so, so good. This is the elevator banks, what they look like. We're going to our cabin. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this cabin because it's a special cabin. Like. Whenever I said I want to go on this ship, I always wanted one of these cabins. 